Hello there, Internet, and welcome back to this Let's Play as Blunky. So I'm back with you here today um, with another attempt at the saddest challenge of them all, namely the co-op challenge. So let's see how it's going to go this time. I feel like we had some pretty good chances at achieving it uh, on the previous run. I mean, I got almost to the end of the jungle. I think I got to 2-4 at some point, which is the end of the jungle. Um, which is good. I mean, if I can just make it to the ice caves, I'm, for example, very much closer to the, uh, to the temple and indeed to the exit. For now, let's just try and see if we can find some good items here. Would, of course, like to have as many as possible before moving on. So let's just leave Yang here for now and let's get Monty to the exit and move on. Once again, this is somehow hurting my brain a little bit, having to multitask slightly more than usual. All right, so what does this shop have for us? Um, probably nothing, I would say. I don't think I'm gonna bother with it. Let's just move to the exit. Hopefully fast enough that um, our friend will survive. And indeed he will. And again, that's my phone going off, if you could hear that. Alright, we will of course be looking out for altars, because that's where the good stuff will really happen in this one. That was weird. No altars as far as I can tell, so let's just move on. Um, I guess I may as well use a rock here. Save a little bit of my health. And move on. I guess maybe I could have bought something good in the shop now that I think of it. I'm not sure if I had uh, the cash to do so. Possibly. Alright, so we have another shop. Spike shoes. Spike shoes are good, and I think I can easily um, afford those. So that's probably what I'll do. For now, let's just um, get this crate as well, which is indeed going to be possible. That putting down a bomb tree is so helpful. We get some more bombs out of it as well. So let's just move on. And let's get the spike shoes. I guess I called them spring shoes a second ago. Not quite what I wanted. This is also a good way of doing the... Um, if you want to do like, um, what's it called, eggplant run practice, you can always get a mystery box out of it by simply grabbing it from a shop. Everything becomes a mystery box when bought in co-op. I could get paste up there, I think, but I'm not going to bother. Instead, let's just move on. <clears throat> um, yeah, let's just do it like this. <laughs> that was very lucky. That could have easily hit me over the head. Instead, it hit me over the head. Which is what I would prefer in this situation. And we're back to the jungle already. So far, so good. I'm not sure if scores or um, times count on the official leaderboards in co-op. I would think that they don't because that would be sort of very cheaty in many ways. I uh, just started thinking about it because we're almost on uh, doing speed running here at some points. All right, parachute could become useful, in particular if we make it all the way to the ice caves. So this guy is of course scary, but he's not gonna pose any significant threat to us here. Would of course like more altars, um, but I guess I'm not seeing any. It almost feels a little weird that I don't get an extra health every time I bring Yang to the exit. Because he sort of looks a little bit like Monty. Uh, even if he's not. Right, so this is scary, of course. I would very much like this frog to get out of the way. Please? I can also, of course, just do it like this. Uh, I should probably see if I... Oh, that was bad. See if I can get some spring shears out of him. And indeed I could. So that was well worth the investment. Um, all right, so this is scary, of course. Okay, so it looks like, fortunately, there's only one monkey in the spike pit. This is also completely fucked up, isn't it? Um, 
sure how I wanted to go with this. Probably like this instead. Did that help me at all? Eh, it did. Super. Let's move out. Uh, almost took full damage there. And we're on. Did we make it to the ice caves yet? Not quite. We're actually only halfway through the jungle. But still looking pretty good. Uh, this is the first run, isn't it? I think it is. So... I'm quite happy about it so far. Well, this is also completely messed up. Um, if I died to spikes while holding my friend here, is he gonna die to spikes as well, is the question. Well, let's not find out. Um, <laughs> he certainly died from that. So let's just move on. No reason to bring his corpse. Let's just try to make it out of the jungle. And hopefully we can pick him up in the next one. I'm feeling like maybe this way of doing it is better than what I did in the last run where I tried to um, more actively deal with shopkeepers. So I wonder if I can do something here. Can I make this guy fall down somehow? Oh, I hit myself over the head. <laughs> but it worked. So once again, it's rather uh, handy having a companion. Should probably see if I can bring Mounty down. I don't think the boomerang is going to help me too much. So, maybe I won't bother bringing that. So, of course, out... Um, looking out for for Yang here. He should be somewhere. Indeed, he's right here. So, maybe let's see if we can first bring Monty to the exit. And then come back for him. Then maybe we can also bring the boomerang. Ugh, it's not looking too good, is it? Um, yeah, we should be able to do this. I would much rather not have to go back again here, but I feel like at this point I've been to the jungle so many times that it's probably not going to be too bad. Um, so the question is, can we go back to the exit in, I don't know how long we have, 15 seconds, something like that, should be possible. Because then I can also bring the boomerang, which I may as well. So, on to the ice caves. So I haven't been here yet, so the question is how I want to deal with this situation. I would very much like to have the cape and a compass at this point. Um, but I guess I won't ha have those. Instead, let's just try to get down as fast as we can. We have spike shoes. Um, this is scary as hell, and this is gonna blow up a mine as we learned on a daily challenge a little while ago. And we get some more spring shoes, which we can't use for anything. Uh, I don't think the exit is on this side, no, it must be on the right side. So let's just get down there, even though there are a bunch of mines. I wasn't feeling, I mean, I was feeling a little bit unsafe by making that leap of faith, but on the other hand, I knew the exit has, had to be on this side, so nothing really lost. Almost out of the, of the ice caves now. <laughs> Almost out of the ice caves. We're on 3-2. So if you define almost sufficiently incorrectly, then we are actually getting there. Let's see what we have in this crate. Another parachute. So that's, of course, pretty useless. I could grab Monty, but at this point I'm not sure the extra health will benefit me all that much anyway. So I would rather just try to keep Yang alive, because he may indeed be useful for us at some point. I guess we can plot down a bomb here, and that should allow us to easily gain access to that crate. So let's just do that. Get some more bombs. I'm pretty happy about our bomb situation in general. It's exactly where I want it to be. So that was 3-2, right? Yeah. Halfway through the ice caves. So far, so good. Um, I'm really hoping the exit is down here, but I think it's going to be on the right side again. Indeed it is. So I think we can probably easily bring Monty on this one. So why don't we just do that? And on we go. Should we go to the mothership? That would be the silliest decision ever, but we probably could. 
Let's not, though. Um, so this is kind of scary. So let's use this to blow up the mine. And let's use this to get down. Oh! Oh, he actually survived. We get a machete, which I'm not going to worry about bringing. I guess I can just bring myself up here. There we go. A little awkward having to, <laughs> to navigate like that. I should maybe use my other character more. Um, I don't know. So far, this seems like it's going to work. So, um, All right, so we have to deal with Anubis on a dark level. I'm obviously not very happy about that at all. I don't want to go over there. Actually, why don't we just say screw it and uh, and try to move on with the torch instead. I think that's a safer choice here, even if it doesn't feel very safe at all. This mummy is also in a very annoying spot. This should work, though. Good thing we got the spike shoes. That arrow trap has been set off. And there's a crocodile man. Which is, of course, something I would rather not have to deal with. Where is the exit? It must be on the left side, would be my guess here. I guess I could use my body to set off arrow traps like, as well. Which maybe I should. Is it going to be safe to go down here? Not at all. So let's um, instead go down this way. Which will cost me a few resources. But I think it's going to be safer. Actually, it's not going to cost me any resources at all, is it? Um, is there anything else in this floor we want to do? Probably not. Let's just move on. So now I want to make sure that I keep my buddy alive for the next couple of levels, probably. Because um, if he's going to be... I mean, I could leave him dead up until 4-3. But I would much rather not. Uh, could you please fall down? Yes. Um... Because, I mean, assuming that he's in a nasty position in 4-3, it would be much easier for me to, to just keep him alive. So it takes care of that. Should be able to safely get down here. Um, angered the Hawkman, not something I wanted to do, really. Oh! So he's coming over here now. But he's gonna kill himself, good. So, it looks like we'll be moving across this lava pit, no matter what. Or has seven bombs. Question is... How many of those I feel like I can not use. So I think I'll go for the riskier strategy here, probably. Um, probably the biggest thing to watch out for here um, is the existence of the magma man. But I think we're gonna be okay for now. So let's get our body and let's get out. Oh, he took some damage. Not too much of a problem, I imagine. So that's 4 2. Here's a shop, <laughs> which we can actually use. Uh, so why don't we just get the bomb box? We might as well get paste as well. And uh, let's get all of it. Let's put it up here. And put our body out of the way so that he doesn't accidentally pick up all of the bombs. And there we go. 24 bombs. Looking really good. Uh, of course, Scorpion could potentially be a problem here if he decides to stun me. Um, which he did not do, so let's just move on. I haven't really encountered any thwams yet, which is something I'm obviously happy about. So at this point, we may as well use some bombs to proceed more efficiently. Could have blown that corpse up on myself, which would have been unfortunate. Where are we now? 4 3, so we're actually on the Omic. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I really hope that my body is going to spawn on this level. I don't I'm not sure if that's the case though. Uh, if not, I just threw away the entire run in the stupidest possible way. So please be alive up here somewhere. Go 
more parachutes that we could ever use. Um... <laughs> this is so stupid. Please be here somewhere. Okay, he's apparently not. Holy shit, that's dumb. That's so stupid. Oh, I'm so unhappy with this. Oh god damn it! Throw the Hawkman up into the universe. Oh, this is so stupid. Ah. Oh. So as you might be able to tell, I'm not exactly um, full of joy about how this went down. But I guess we may as well kill Omek and then uh, go for another one. So, come here Omek. At least you're gonna die. Get this pot out of the way because it could potentially be bad for us. Uh, at least we beat the game, <laughs> which I guess it's not something to complain too much about, but still, this is really silly. That's the worst possible way this could have gone down. Well, maybe not the worst, but it's definitely one of them. So no achievement for us. I guess. <laughs> All right, I guess um, let's just see what the time was, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Pretty bad score as well. We managed to beat the game as... I'm, I'm not sure what's, how to feel about this. So uh, if, I need to, if, if I have to conclude, uh, conclude something from this, it is that it is definitely possible to get this achievement, no doubt about it. But I think for now this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So um, once again, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you for some more co-op action the next time.